Why do Jews have big noses? Because air is free. <laughs> I don't even like that joke. But seriously, do Jews actually have bigger noses? I'm Pinchas Taylor, and this is Taylor Talks. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out Taylor Talks. We put out these videos every single week. And I hope if you're watching us on Facebook, you'll click that link above and follow along. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll hit that subscribe button in the lower right. Let's jump right into it. Some historians trace the idea of a Jewish large or hooked nose to the 13th century. During that time, there was a move toward realism in art, and that spurred artists to devise and emphasize visual signs of ethnicity. The so-called Jewish nose was already a caricature in the 16th century. By the 18th century, it had already become a well-established Jewish trademark. Nazi leader Julius Streicher also boosted the idea of the Jewish nose in his propaganda. A physical anthropologist and others have actually done research and shown that the Jewish community doesn't have any bigger or more hooked noses than their Gentile neighbors. At the same time, the stereotype still sits with us today and plenty of people get nose jobs to better fit in. Interestingly enough though, there are actually spiritual teachings about the nose in Judaism. The Bible teaches that God formed man out of the dust of the earth and then blew into his nostrils the breath of life. The sages explain that the nose is the organ where the soul enters and exits the body. The Hebrew letter Shin appears on the bottom of the nostrils, alluding to the divine name Shin Dalid Yud engraved on every person. Smell is also considered the most spiritual of the five senses, with the least physical matter involved. Smell is also said to be the only of the five senses that didn't participate in the sin of Adam and Eve at the Tree of Knowledge, and therefore remains a more spiritual sense. There's truth to the expression, he's got a nose for business, or something doesn't smell right. Smell is intangible and it hints to the idea of good intuition. Let's always remember to use our noses, symbolic of our internal compass and guiding philosophy, to make the right decisions that enhance our overall well-being. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. You know, these videos are only made possible by a bunch of viewers who contribute a few dollars every single month. If you think you can help support what we do, please visit the link in the description and have a great day.